Hi, my name is Liz Hicks and I'm here today to share with you a fun technique that uh, was featured on the Creating Keepsakes blogs um, March 25th, 2011 uh, on behalf of Scrapbook Adhesives. And one of the techniques that um, I did on that the canvas uh, was using the adhesive transfer sheets here, the adhesive sheets by Scrapbook Adhesives. And what it is, is just a really nice um, thin film of adhesive and you, how you apply it is you just peel back this yellow protective layer and what you can see is that wonderful gorgeous adhesive that's already uh, ready to be applied. If you had little itty bitty elements such as little die cuts or just uh, exacted out kind of elements you can easily place them on the adhesive, put the yellow backing back on, rub it in, maybe even burnish the back side so that you can get all the adhesive on and then you could easily just peel it off and then you'd have adhesive on your element. Uh, for this technique what we did is we actually took, I had taken um, an adhesive sheet and just kind of ran it organically. I kind of just would take my finger and apply little pieces of this adhesive. You can see here where I just kind of press it down and then pick it up. You can see how just some of it transfers off, not a whole lot. And what I did is I, because I wanted the effect on the sun to become just like a really nice worn metal look. That's why I did it this way. Otherwise what you can do is just easily, if you wanted a full effect, you could easily just press the whole adhesive sheet down and then burnish it and then peel it back and that would give you the full burnished effect. With the adhesive sheet, a wonderful thing to pair with it is some designer foils or just some nice foil sheets. I have some here that I'm going to be using. Let's see if I get a, get a new one out. Okay. And what you can do is just place your foil on the adhesive and just go ahead and press it in. And then you can peel it back. And you can see how with this paper, because the paper, this is like a grass cloth type of paper, it, it just leaves this really nice uh, imprint of the actual paper. So it'll go ahead and pick it up, pick up the imprint of the paper uh, that you're using. It uh, just gives it a really nice effect. If I really wanted to make sure that I got all of that impression, what I can do is go ahead and just take something and burnish it in. And that'll help more of the adhesive to transfer rather than just applying a very light, light coat of it. So you can see here, this helps a full, for you to get just a really nice full effect. Beyond this, what I did to take it just another step further was that I actually took just some spray color and then I sprayed it right over the top of it. So for this one, I actually have Sea Kiss, which is, uh, what is that? There you go. It's a smooch spritz. Let me just open it here. And what this will do, it's really fun because it ends up making it so that you can just color right around. Shake it up a little bit. And you can see how you can just go ahead and color right around. And I'll go ahead and just really let the color penetrate there. And what it does is that it just creates a nice resist with the actual adhesive and the foil. So it gives you just a really nice two-tone kind of a color. Alright, so here is the original art piece uh, that I did for the Creating Keepsakes blog. And you can see the technique that I just showed you is right here on the actual rays of sun. So you can see, let's go ahead and see how can I make, there we go. Right here on the sun you'll see where the foil is and where the paint has gone ahead and painted where the adhesive and the foil is not. So you can just see it really gives it this really nice kind of two-tone, again, kind of like a worn metal looking effect. It's up here and down here. It gives it a really nice worn metal effect.